everyone, welcome to my channel, Christian and Light. This is going to be for Capricorns. You're in the meantime rating. In the meantime, well, we're in lockdown. Capricorn, how are you guys doing? <sighs> so Capricorn, so in your house still, Mars, Jupiter, um, South Node, and I'm missing one, Pluto. Um, so we had a Mars-Pluto conjunction, very intense just like my voice now <laughs> then we had a saturn pluto conjunction as well so very intense energy but you know it's in your sign you you deal with intense and pressure because you are intense and you pressure yourself a lot so you are used to those energies right plus you're ruled by saturn now uh, mars kind of came over and maybe like shaked things up a little bit for you and was like listen we need to change the game over here. That's what Mars came up and told you. Jupiter too. He expanded Mars. So it's just like in your face like, all right, I can't control this. I'm just going to surrender. All right. Now, Saturn entered your second house of Aquarius. The second house normally in the zodiac is um, Taurus, which is assets, belongings, um, that Venusian energy, what we love, you know, and all that stuff like nurturing comfort so i think you've realized you've been putting a strain and you've been like just like being very 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 judgmental with your own self you know lack of compassion for self just like being hard on yourself and i think you've realized that now saturn entering aquarius is like you're letting your guard down you don't have tunnel vision anymore remember the, the reading i did for you guys like uh for the second half of the month so I feel a sense of like surrender and just like exploration for you guys. You're open now. You have decided to open up to possibilities, to change. So there's a sense of freshness here for you guys, Capricorn, okay? Now in your third house of Pisces, we still have Neptune, communication. So you're opening up, you're communicating more, you're listening more, right? You're doing some research. So that's good. You're just open. And I like that, Capricorn. Change, change. You know, change is necessary. Change is progression. Okay? We need to evolve. We can't just be doing things we know and be comfortable in doing them because it's safe. You have to branch out sometimes to learn, to bring some excitement, and to evolve. Now, in your fourth house of Aries, we just had the sun. I mean, this is the full moon. Sorry, we had a sorry, a new moon, which is again, that energy of newness, beginnings, new starts, new freshness, right? So Aries is um, self. So it's, it's a new you. You're, you're opening up. You're optimistic. You're branching out. We have Chiron there too. So like I said, it's a healing process that you're going through right now. That's just opening you to all these possibilities. So it's expansion. Okay. Now, in your fifth house of Taurus, we have Venus. So it's like you're loving again. You're excited again. You want to try things. You, it's just refreshing, Capricorn. And I want to applaud you for that. It's really good. It's very hard, you know, to step out of one's comfort zone. Which your, your comfort zone is not very comfortable. You know, it's very strict. You're very hard on yourself. And even on others. But especially yourself, because we mirror, right? So you're hard on yourself, so you expect a lot from others, because you do the work, you're hard on yourself, so you, you're hard on others, too. But that's changing. There's a sense of freshness here. There's a sense of, like, ah, energy that's, like, moving, clearing, and um, soothing, and letting go. Now, let's get some tarot. Grand Luxe by Chiro Marchetti. My lighter's been acting up. Ugh. Like some sage here. Sit back. Up. My son is like eating candy. He's like, I'm sorry. All right, spirit. What what do we have for? I said spirit. Whatever. What do we have for Capricorn spirit? In the meantime, broad vision. Very very good. Broad broad vision. Expansion. Change. Very, very um, 
change that brings opportunity. All right, Spirit, what do we have for Capricorn in the meantime, please? We're going to get six cards. One more time. Let's do this one more time. My nose is itching already. We haven't even started. Okay, so that's a good sign. Spirit is the validating. Okay. It's validating. Spirit is validating. So you're on the right track, Capricorn, okay? So Spirit, what do we have for Capricorn in the meantime, please? Yeah, you're exciting. I mean, you're excited. It's exciting, basically. There's a, there's a, oof. There's a, there's a sense of just even joy. New perspective, new vision. That's what this is about, this lockdown. All of us are going to come out of this reborn in some shape or form. One area of our life for sure, and some of us even more. Some of us, our whole life is a is like being like revised here. Okay. We're gonna get six cards, and we're gonna get a bunch of oracles. Spirit. One more. Capricorn in the meantime. Spirit. Capricorn. Okay. Oh, two. Okay. They want to give us seven. We'll take them. Look, the sun, that rebirth. Yes, illumination, expansion, healing, excitement, joy. A sense of just happiness. It's freshness. It's fresh fresh okay <clears throat> lots of cards here so seven of swords libra gemini aquarius energy and eight of swords same libra gemini aquarius see this is like feeling um trapped but it's your own mental prison seven of swords is uh, sorting that out it's figuring out where you've been trapping yourself figuring out where you've been restricting yourself where you've been making stories up as to this is what you deserve, this is what you need to do, this is where you're at, and this is what expect is is expected of you. You're breaking that mental prison. You're breaking the barriers. Okay. You break. This is a breakthrough. Remember, we have the sun. It is a breakthrough. Elimination, expansion. So you're definitely there's a breakthrough here. Okay, Capricorn. And you're figuring it out. You've analyzed it. It's like it jumped to you. You're like, okay, this, this is not right. This is not right. Maybe you were even tired physically. And just this lockdown made you realize how much you needed to relax, how much you needed some time for yourself. Because you've been just like head down, working, 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 doing that thing, doing that thing, being serious, being dedicated. Not it's not even dedication, obsessed, I would say. And it's obsession, you know, it's, it's being hard on yourself. And now you're breathing, you, you have a breather. So you're like, wow, I should do this more often. I mean, maybe I'm just, you know, doing a little too much over here. I don't have to do so much, you know, I don't have to be so hard on myself. This is what this is, this energy. Because then you have the new beginning. See, we have the nine of swords and the eight of swords. That's that. It escalated and now... I think this lockdown just like identified this this energy of heaviness of just mental prison just like being so hard on yourself Capricorn and you have a new vision now page of wands look at all those swords energy you're very conflicted Capricorn you were very conflicted and now oh, there's such a new freshness coming to you new passion New freshness, like a desire for a new passionate beginning. Look at those cards, how all of them are so like blue, it's cold. And this one comes in, it's just like this young child. Everything is like, you know, it's fire energy. Leo every side, and you have these little dragons. Dragon, you know, the dragon is such a mythical creature that's like um, very powerful, passionate. It spits fire, right? It's... um it stands in its power. There's a sense of empowerment here that you 
that you've gained, but empowerment, empowerment, sorry, it comes from what? From acceptance of self, from um, healing the, the wounds, the, you know, and transmuting energy of not being worth, worthy, of uh, not being enough, of um, having to prove something, you know, just like, you know, caring about what other people might say because remember capricorn you rule um reputation so there it, it, you've been under a lot of pressure i think and now you find yourself in your space your men, you know your space your home and we are faced with ourselves and all of a sudden you're like you feel good you're at home the pressure is off the weight is off your shoulders and you're realizing maybe you've been doing a little too much here and you're having a new perspective and you're like, I've been doing so much, but was it all necessary? Is it really what I want to do? Have I been doing it just because I, I was asked to or it was what it was what was expected of me? Now you're like, okay, I'm going to start doing things for me now. I can do what's expected of me, but still do it in a way that benefits me as well by doing something I'm passionate about, you know, something that excites me because then you have, um, the five of coins that, that lack energy, it doesn't have to be just coins, right? Money. This is a sense of being locked, like locked out, being, not being like appreciated, not being, um, just being narrow-minded, tunnel vision. This is tunnel vision here, because in the original, right away, it's like a couple. Like sometimes it's a couple, sometimes it's a woman with a child. They're out of out. Um, they're outside of a church. The church is there, but they're so drowning in their misery, and they're like, oh, pity party, and they're like, oh my God, you know that they don't even see the church. That they can go in there and have shelter. Again, stories. Because lack mentality is lack mentality. I mean, of course, if you're lacking and there's a problem and it's in your face, you know. But this is like imagining it's there when it's not even there yet. And then you, you manifest it, you know. So I think this is what you, you, you've been running, you know, you've been afraid of. You've been afraid of lack mentality. You've been afraid of being judged. You've been afraid of not being enough. You've been afraid of like... Just afraid. Lots of pressure here. You've been putting lots of pressure on yourself, Capricorn. And I think you're starting to realize that, nope, I don't have to do this. Because look, the couple, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Bosses, people to, that know their business, that plant seeds and seeds that grow. This leads to the emperor. These, these are hardworking people. Your energy too, towards Virgo Capricorn. Hardworking people. Yes, it's good to chase the paper. It's good to chase the paper. Maybe some of you had a childhood that was like, where you were in lack most of the time, or you are supporting your parents, okay, or your family. Maybe that's you. One of these is you, and the other one is your partner. And um, you've had difficult times. Maybe Maybe one of you had difficult time in their childhood. And this has been the motor, but this kind of energy, the, the being afraid of lack is not a good motor to have. It's not a good motivation for, for, for striving, you know, for, for, for success, because you always have this in the back of your mind. So therefore you're not doing things in a pure fashion. It comes from fear. It's fear based. So it's like a, just a dog like spinning and chasing its tail and it's never it's you're never gonna stop it's like being on the treadmill that was one of your other readings too oh my god i can't be in lack i can't be in lack and you're just going you're just going you're just going and then it starts affecting your mental health and then it's gonna affect your physical health okay so the pressure you've been under a lot of pressure let me just say that and now king of cups Knight of Cups, sorry. Starting new, you don't know exactly where you're going, but the one thing for sure, 
is that you know that you want a passionate new start. You have a new vision now. You no longer want this energy of feeling like not balanced, just being in the dark. This is such a dark, low vibrational energy of like heaviness, of like, oh my God, doubt, fear, all the negative emotions. It's so shadowy. Now you're like, listen, I have a new vision. I want passion. I want, I can do something because I do it well. Anywho, I've mastered it, but I'm going to do it from a place like this. I'm going to start over passionately. I'm going to have fun with it because I can no longer take this, this dark shadowy energy. I don't know yet everything, Knight of Cups, but I'm going to do it passionately and I'm going to be motivated and I'm going to do it from a place of uh, safety, security, trusting in my capacity, in spirit, trusting in the support around me, whether that be your parents, your spouse or whatever, brother, sister, I don't know. This is like family. It could be a couple. It could be even family. Okay. And <clears throat> you're like, I don't have all the answers, but I'm just going to jump in and go. It's a new start. I don't know what the universe is going to reserve me, but I trust. And I'm going for it. Ace of Wands. And emotions are checked. You want that emotional new beginning. You want that passionate new beginning. You admit you don't have all the answers, but you're just going to go for it. Because it's new, it's fresh, and it is, it is exactly what you need right now. And you know it. So you're going to go for it. The feeling is right. So you're finally listening to your feelings here. Finally listening to your gut instinct, your feelings, the passion. And you're going to take up that new passionate beginning because that is what your gut instinct, your solar plexus is telling you, your heart, your mind, it's aligned. It's everything is telling you, is everything is directing you to this passionate new beginning. And you have a sense of knowing, especially of trust. You trust again. You have a broader vision. And this is what you want. This is what you want. You know what you want now. Okay? Beautiful. Very beautiful. Hmm. Nice. No more, uh, no more of this dark energy here. Gosh. Nine, uh, eight of swords. Nine of swords. Nine of swords. Seven of swords. So much like mental conflict. Then... Five of Pentacles, mental conflict that starts manifesting in your physical. Who over? You are like on some new energy. You have tapped in something, in some new energy now, and you, you're slowly but surely you're regaining balance, emotional balance. There's a light at the end of the tunnel, and you're going up. You're 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 going. You're going steadily, confidently towards the light that new passionate beginning and you trust you trust okay very beautiful very good energy for you capricorn i'm very 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 happy for you and impressed too because capricorns is very stubborn it's hard for them to let go oh my god my finger very hard for you guys to let go you you have a hard time letting go of routine you're the mundane that's what you do that would, I, that's what um, describes the Capricorn energy, right? It's the shadow. Lots of like um, karma too attached to that. And then we have the South Node in your sign. I think the South Node in your sign brought up a lot of this like shadow stuff that you had to deal with. You had to look at. And that's why. With Pluto and Mars conjunct and Saturn and Pluto conjunct, it helped you. And now Saturn and Aquarius in your second house, it's showing you you can do what you love and be happy doing it. Why, why so serious? Why so, 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 so hard on yourself? You know, you're realizing that now. Okay. You're very, very hard on yourself. At least you were. You no, know, you no longer are. You're figuring out slowly but surely you're on the right path. Okay. I spirit. What do we have for uh, Capricorn? This is the numinous astro deck. Ruby Rantan and Beth Matata. For Capricorn in the meantime. Here, isn't it for Capricorn, please? In the meantime, yes, the doula, Cancer. You're, you're nurturing yourself again. You're at home. Cancer is all about home, right? Foundations, your foundation, where you live, what you've constructed, what you've built. You guys are builders. 
your foundation builders. You built this foundation though on fear. And um, now you're sitting at home and you're having to face these foundations that you built. And you're like, these foundations are screwed up. It's dark in here. It's cold. And you're warming things up. You're warming things up. That's what you're doing. Warming things up. Okay. This is over here. You're definitely nurturing yourself. You're, you're taking care of yourself. You're, oh, you're reconnecting. You're giving yourself that self-love. You're into tenderness now. You're, you're, you're not, you're being receptive. Okay. You're using this new moon in Aries. Remember, which is your um, 10th house, is it? Your 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, your 10th house. Which is foundations, legacy, work, and all that stuff. You're changing it up. You're, you're shining some light on what's been dark here. Shining some light on the dark. Okay, and starting over. Taking care of your family more. You're being more tolerant to people. What people are saying. Remember in the beginning I was like, you're starting to listen now and be less judgy and be less um, patriarchal. You know, just harsh, hard. You're relaxing, basically, okay? It's good. You're opening up. It's just softening up. And I like that, okay? Now, let's get a Queen in the Moon Oracle since we had the new moon in um, Aries, like I said, which is your 10th house. The new moon just like shines something there. And the sun is there too. And remember Chiron, healing. It's just, it shines a light on this darkness here and you decided you can't do this anymore. And it's just like, that's your goal now, is to be happy. To do what you love, what you have to do, because you always have that sense of duty. It's not gonna go away, you're a Capricorn. You're the father figure, like I said, you might be in charge of like taking care of your family. Family meaning your mom, your dad, blah, 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 your sister, and your family if you are married and you have children, okay? You can do all that, but you don't have to be dark and gloomy while doing it. Because then it feels like a task, you know? And then you have resentment for them. So how is that going to work? It's not. It's going to blow up in your face sooner or later. And I think it has here. It has, okay? All right, spirit. What do I have for Capricorn, please? <clears throat> in the meantime, from the Queen of the Moon Oracle, Stacy the Merco, Capricorn. <clears throat> in the meantime, please, Spirit. Yep, the path, new path, new path, a new beginning. New path, new beginning. A warm, loving, passionate new path and new beginning. Determined, um, trusting, and just uh, that child energy. The loving, caring, um, um, letting go of control. And following your passion, okay? Beautiful. Letting go of control and following your passion. It's really good, Capricorn, okay? The path, eight. Manifesting the life you want. Knowing what you want. Instead of being robotic and doing what you have to do, now you're going to do what you want to do. And still... Be able to have, you know, live up to the responsibilities and come and show up to the responsibilities you have. Because we do have responsibilities, you know. All right. <clears throat> for each of us, is different. Spirit, what do we have for Capricorn? In the meantime, this is the <clears throat> Animal Oracle, Colette Baron Reed. There's definitely emotional healing here for you, Capricorn. Emotional healing that starts to the core of you, and that's going to then, like, spread, you know? Because whatever energy you are in, it then spreads around you. It, it manifests, right? So if from fear that, you know, being of being judged, of duty, 
of, of, of fear of lack. You manifested just that outward and it wasn't working and I think you figured that out. And now you've decided to manifest passion and love and you're going to see it's going to manifest outward. And all of a sudden, lots of blessings are going to come in. Things are going to come so smoothly. And when you give that out, you will attract blessings. This is the Jupiter in Sag card. You will attract blessings. You're expanding, basically. You're expanding. That, that, that self-love, that self-confidence, that empowerment is going to expand outward. Okay? That's what I mean. Healing emotions. Yeah. For Capricorn. Healing. Definitely healing emotions here. Healing. Beautiful. Beautiful healing going on here. All right, Spirit. Capricorn. Look, sweet results await. Yep. Those are the blessings. All right, Spirit. We'll do it for Capricorn, please. In the meantime... going to be sweet, very sweet, from bitter to sweet, two cards, all right, spirit, time for a beginner's mind, oh yeah, time for a beginner's mind, for sure, oh, you've begun, <clears throat> you have begun already, you've begun, the abundant universe will provide, there goes the blessings, hello, <clears throat> Look at that. Blessing, expansion, newness, abundance, joy, love, prosperity, health, wealth. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing, Capricorn. All you have to do is let your guard down and trust and have faith. And that's, that's it. That it's easy. Just like that. You are turning it. You're changing directions. Your trajectory is going towards the light. Going towards the light. And you're opening doors to abundance, love, stability. <clears throat> um, yeah, just like balance. Emotional balance. Physical. Everything. Everything is going to open up. It's beautiful. Very, very, very beautiful for you. Um caps yeah you've been working i think it's, you've been working you it this has been creeping on you and this lockdown was the pivotal point it was the, the turning point and it was like in your face and you're like oh oh what's going on i feel something something well this is a strange feeling you know because you're just go 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 you're like a machine you're not very very feely touchy touchy feely but we have cancer here who is very emotional, very intuitive. I think you had the time to sit down and just like let it in. And it hit you. Inward. And then you began. So you have perspective. You surrendered. And you saw. You saw the light. First you have to go through that dark tunnel though. But then you saw the light. Oh wow. And it was so, so healing, wasn't it? It was so warm and, and, and nurture, nurturing and supportive and comforting. And, and, and it boosted you. Boost. And now you're ready to go. With a brand new perspective. Okay? Breathe. Oops. <clears throat> breathe. You were suffocating. You felt restricted. You felt like you couldn't breathe. It was dark. It was gloomy. It was restraining. Now it's like everything is, oh, you're just able to breathe. You're able to breathe. The smoke is gone. The heaviness is gone. Your lungs are open. It's like a rebirth. It's healing. It's nurturing. A breath of fresh air. A breath of fresh air. Oh, definitely. A breath of fresh air. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let me get a... Um, Sacred Destiny for you guys, and then I'll get a Soul's Journey as well. Spirit, what do you Capricorn, please? Sacred Destiny, Dennis Lynn. This was Stephen D. Farmer, by the way, the Earth Magic. I like to say the tell you guys the cards because I know some of you want to know. 
It's easier than writing it in the description box. <laughs> I'm a little lazy. Plus, it's automatic for me. I do it all the time, so it just comes out while I'm shuffling and I just slip it in. You know? Spirit, what do we have for Capricorn? Sacred Destiny, then a slim. Just like that. Just easier, right? All right. What do we have for Capricorn Spirit? Uh, in the meantime, <sighs> what a breath of fresh air, right? All right, Spirit, what do we have for Capricorn? Please, in the meantime, Capricorn... In the meantime, Ooh, that's a lot of cards. Capricorn, in the meantime, this one card, spirit. I'm gonna give him a lot. Security. You are learning that security is not fear. You are learning that security is not punishment. It's not restraint. It's not being in a cave and just being on that treadmill, <laughs> you know? Go watch your other readings, Capricorn. It's like everything is like following. It's like the readings are like so aligned. I was talking about you being in a cave on a treadmill and not even caring if you have water or not. It, it didn't matter because you were like, you were just like tunnel vision. Gotta go, gotta go there, there, there. Meanwhile, you didn't even know why you were going there because it was subconsciously your fear. Security is not fear. Security is not restriction. Security is not punishment. Security is feeling good about who you are, where you are. Security is having healed your emotional blockages, whether from childhood, past karma, ancestral, whatever. Security is not feeling restricted, right? Security is feeling free that's security isn't that crazy because we're like you have to lock everything to feel secure right that's what security when we think when in the 3d when you're really thinking 3d security is like oh locks keys keypads codes um you're on your phone you lock it you have a safe you lock it that's security for us security guard blocking blocking security is freedom security is emotional healing. Security is faith. Security is trust. All right, Capricorn? All right. Perfect. Love it. Soul's journey. Security is trust. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. <sighs> spirit, what do we have for Capricorn, please, from the Soul Journey, Stephen Von Craig. Because if you expect something bad to happen to you, <laughs> you're, you're manifesting it, you know? Because if you have a safe, notice you have... You have a safe. People get more curious. When you lock something, you, you, you attract attention to it, right? So what security is there in, there in that? You're projecting that there's something important, valuable. So you attract the non-security. You know what? I, you attract the violation. You attract somebody coming in and hurting you or taking advantage or stealing, robbing you. I'm not saying don't lock your car, your home, and whatever, but you see the analogy I'm, I'm doing right now, okay? It's kind of a spiritual analogy. <laughs> Remember, guys, secre security, true security is a freedom. That's true security. All right, spirit. Soul's journey for Capricorns. What is their affirmation? An affirmation for Capricorn that's done so much healing, so much growing, it's beautiful, beautiful. What a beautiful journey you've been on. What a beautiful breakthrough, Capricorn. Beautiful breakthrough. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful breakthrough. Look at that. You go from this to this. What a beautiful breakthrough here. Beautiful. Amazing. 
Okay, let's get to it. Shar shar. All right. All right, what do we have? Did I cut? Let me do it again. I don't remember. What do we have for Capricorn? Please, Spirit. Last card. Soul's journey. What is the affirmation for them? Please, Spirit. In the meantime. Capricorn. Beautiful Capricorns. So courageous. Such a courage they have right now. It's very courageous, Capricorn. You are so courageous right now. You're creating beautiful, a beautiful, beautiful new life for yourself and your family. Because don't think it doesn't affect them when you're in your little tunnel thingy, running away. <laughs> you know, it affects them too. It does. I'm hearing they suffer in silence. Because you're not 100%. It's not healthy, basically, okay? Growth. <clears throat> Lovely, you're definitely grown. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Ooh, beaut look at that, solar plexus. Brings me back to that yellow here of the sun. Even the, the page of wands here. Look at that, all that yellow. Solar plexus, passion, drive, self-confidence. You know, beautiful. Mm -mm -mm, momentum. It's beautiful, Capricorn. Yes, I want to expand my consciousness and awareness. Beautiful expansion. Beautiful. Love it. All right, Capricorn, you are on the right path. <clears throat> Universe has your back. They see what you're doing. It has not been easy. It's not going to be easy because this work keeps, you know, we're, we constantly are working. But you have achieved such a milestone that it's not neglectable for you because it took you a lot out of you. And beautiful, beautiful results await. Beautiful results. Okay? I love you guys. Thank you, Capricorn. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.